All right, guys, so before we start this video, I just wanted to give a little bit of a heads up. The video that you're about to watch is about eight months old. And the reason I did this was because I wanted to have the flooring in my garage redone, but I wanted to be able to give you guys a good idea of what the quality was gonna be like. And you know how I am with wanting to make sure you guys are getting quality products. I didn't wanna have the floor put down and then immediately the next day upload a video talking about how great it is. I wanted to have some actual substance to talk about. And sure enough, eight Eight months later, the floor is holding up exactly like it did on the day that it was done, and I'm told it will continue to do so for about 20 to 25 years. This video is gonna go over why I chose to do the floor the way I did, what the process was to get the floor done the way I did, and the pricing. Hopefully this is helpful to all of you guys, but like I said, I wanted to let you know you're gonna see different cars in the video, you're gonna see different trucks because the video is about eight months old at this point. But anyway, roll the intro. All right, guys, so here we are. We are in the garage. It is all emptied out, and I can't believe how freaking echoey it is in here, but basically, guys, this is it. The garage is 100% ready for some awesome garage flooring to come in here. It's been a really, really freaking long time in the making. I know a lot of you guys have seen my floor and commented on it, and I don't blame you. I really don't, because it does look bad, and with cars like my ZR1 sitting in here, it's not really fitting, but but it is coming to an end. The floor is about to get done and it's gonna be super freaking custom. I know what you guys are thinking. Well, wait a second, Justin, how can a garage floor be custom? Just wait, it is gonna look absolutely freaking gorgeous. I can't freaking wait. The next day. They have showed up, the guys doing the floor in my garage. So this is Steve. He's kind of the, the boss of the company. Um, what they're doing now is just kind of setting up, getting ready to start this flooring procedure. You guys aren't gonna know exactly what's happening until he starts into everything, but it's already looking good guys check all this equipment out they're 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 serious about their jobs here i've talked to them a little bit about it before they started all this these are some serious guys they know what they're doing and they are very passionate about what they do so this is going to turn out great i already know it it's starting guys it's starting it's finally happening she had to spend the night outside of the garage last night guys first time since i actually bought this car this thing has sat outside of a garage freaking crazy right but anyway this was outside, so was my wife's car, getting prepared for the guys to come to finish up the garage floor. If you haven't figured it out by now, this is epoxy. I'm doing epoxy on the floor, but there's a certain secret. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned to the end for the coolest part of this entire epoxy installation. It's something you're gonna love, I promise. This thing is going to look absolutely amazing when it's all said and done. Now guys, you can tell by their tools, they are set up. I mean, these guys know what they're doing. They are passionate about their work and it's fantastic to have somebody doing something like this that is gonna be as uh, obsessed about it as I am with this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna give you all their information here. If you can't see their logos and everything right here on their actual work van, I'll put it on the screen as well but Epoxy Depot is who you're gonna to wanna to contact and their website is right here. So they have the majority of the floor already grinded up, so it's already looking better. I mean, my floor was nasty enough looking that the, the powdery white look here actually looks better. So they're gonna go ahead and do the edges now around all underneath the cabinets and everything. And then they're gonna start laying some epoxy. So yeah, this is gonna get interesting real soon. Right now they are repairing these cracks here, guys. And it's, it's really interesting watching this because I have not really looked into this a whole lot to see what the process is. And these two chemicals that they're mixing right here, combined with some sand, is what they use to fill these cracks in. And these two chemicals, when mixed together, literally start to produce heat. So they will also apparently form a, something as solid as a hockey puck when it's all said and done. That's what this one is right here. He's gonna show me what that thing does after it's all solidified, basically. But in liquid form, as you can see, it's like water. And he'll dump that in this crack with some sand, and then it will harden to the point where they have to grind it down smooth with the concrete floor. If you, if you can actually visibly oh, see yeah. it start to change over. That's well, crazy. Once it starts changing over like that, it's way, way Wait. too done. Let me see that one. So yeah, that's what it looks like beforehand. And now it's like physically change. Oh yeah, it's like hard already. That's nuts <laughs> that's crazy so this is like chemistry class in here too it's not just laying floors <laughs> we got chemistry and everything i like to oh yeah of, it's like steaming i like to kind of force it down in the cracks so you get the best adhesion um that way your floor won't crack there again you have the highest potential of no free fraction 
So believe it or not, guys, I was told my garage floor is not that bad. I know a lot of you out there think my garage floor is horrible. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of with you, I'll be honest, but I was told that there has been garage floors way worse than this getting epoxy, so yeah. Way, way worse. All right, so now he's getting the corners, basically everything they couldn't get with the bigger floor grinder, and basically just making sure that this stuff is gonna stick all the way around the edges. Pretty cool stuff, guys. I like seeing this kind of stuff where I've never experienced it before. Still working a little bit, guys, but we're gonna do this in a second. Yeah, it's pizza time. Five minutes later. And, yeah, it's over. So we're getting back to work now, guys. So he just had a large chunk that was out of the floor of my garage here and he just fixed it with that same stuff we were looking at earlier for the cracks. So pretty interesting, you can kind of mold it to whatever you need. In, the, in this case, it's actually on like a vertical plane that comes up onto the garage floor. So this will all be sanded flat or grinded flat with the grinder layer. So all these cracks will be invisible once the epoxy is actually on the floor. Now he's starting to sand on the, the, the areas where they just repaired the cracks with the floor sander. So when this is all said and done, that crack will be perfectly smooth with the floor. I know, I know. Riveting stuff here. Pretty much invisible now. Crazy. It's coming along, guys. So they're doing one final sweep, and then we are laying some epoxy on this floor. So. It's coming along. This floor is finally, finally getting done. I know I keep saying that, but you guys don't know how long in the making this has been. So even before I had this particular house, I wanted an epoxy garage floor so bad, and now it's finally happening. So they're about to lay the epoxy now, and this is gonna be the color of the flake. So there's a lot of gray, some black, and like a lighter gray, bunch of shades of gray. That's what's in there. We'll call it 50 shades of gray. <laughs> <laughs> and down goes the epoxy guys it is getting done look at this look at this system that they have here everybody's doing something all right guys so they are now putting down the flakes or the chips into the epoxy here but oh, check it out guys i'm wearing the attire the, the spiky shoes to step on the epoxy. I'm getting the full experience here. I've been flaked. Seriously though, guys, the floor is all flaked. It's all epoxied. What they're gonna do now is actually come back tomorrow to finish up the clear coat portion. And then I'm gonna show you the awesome part. Trust me, if you've made it this far, it's worth an extra couple minutes. All right, guys, so that is day number one in the books. The garage is looking absolutely fantastic. It is definitely gonna be much more fitting for a car of this stature. And yeah, just take a look at this. So this is before the clear coat, but <laughs> God, it looks brand new. I freaking love it. So like I said, guys, the epoxy guys that came to do all this, all of their information will be linked in the description down below. Definitely check them out because they were really good to work with. They've done fantastic work. I love how passionate they are about what they do. That's a very good Good indication that you're about to get a really really good job so once they come with the clear coat tomorrow that's going to kind of wrap this whole thing up and then we are going to show you the final piece to this thing that's going to blow your freaking minds the next day so guys you can see how much flake was used how much was basically too much but they wanted 100 coverage here so they put down all this and as you can see there is a lot left so they're blowing that all into one corner so they can kind of basically pick up what was left over so this stuff doesn't get stuck in the actual clear coat and you know pull up later so obviously just like pretty much everything in life it's all about the prep so last minute add-on he is going to also coat the pole here in the garage because it's kind of nasty looking so it will match the floor and it will look better i guess they are putting down the clear coat now or what, what's this called probably aspartic right yep, yep so it's basically a clear coat on top of the actual epoxy you can see the difference here one looks very wet one looks obviously very dry so this is offering the protection of the floor of the epoxy and keeping everything looking nice and pretty check out this difference the clear coat no clear coat it looks like a showroom floor guys what is this technique this is the chip rice on a stick. You're being very, very gentle with it. I like it.
getting close guys, almost done. The final thing we're gonna do is the final touch here that I told you about. It's gonna go right up here and it's gonna be really freaking cool. So here it is guys, this is the big reveal. This was what I was keeping from you for the entire video. The channel logo is actually put in underneath the clear coat of the epoxy here. So that is something I will be able to walk on, stand on, drive on, whatever it is I wanna do within the next couple hours after it is fully dry. So that is something that will be here even for the next homeowner. So imagine how much he is gonna appreciate that. But at the end of the day, I'm not that worried about the next guy. I am worried about my garage looking the way I want it to. And this thing looks freaking phenomenal. I love it. I want to give a huge thank you to Epoxy Depot for hooking me up. They did a fantastic job. I mean, you guys can see. I'm going to put in a before and after shot right here so you can see exactly how much better this floor looks. But with the logo up front here, this thing is going to be customized for the channel. It's something you guys are going to see in every video going forward. Again, Aaron, thank you for coming out and hooking me up again. My pleasure. It was fun. <laughs> I appreciate it. So guys, that's going to wrap up this video though. So if you liked what you saw, smash that thumbs up button. Check the link in the description down below for the Epoxy Depot stuff. They actually have a YouTube channel too. I'm going to link down there as well. So be sure to check them out. They're great people, really passionate about their work. And this is the kind of work you can expect. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next one.